Hey guys, this is SaxFan112, and welcome to another episode of... Dan, the Computer Man. Okay, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can get Camtasia Studio 3 for free, and I'm going to do a brief video review on it. How I found out about this is was I looked at a recent post section of the blog on camstudio.org. I used camstudio, but now I'm currently using Camtasia Studio 3. So, I'm going to show you how you do it. And at first I thought it was too good to be true, but it actually is true. So, if you're wondering what site this is, it's www.leewcf.com slash blog slash archives slash 2007 slash 11 slash download dash free dash Camtasia dash studio dash with dash serial dash key. Okay, so the steps to do this are you have to click in the, click on this link to download the free trial version of Camtasia Studio 3. And then you can click on this thing and during installation you can get your license key entered in right away. And what you need to do is just enter in your first and last name, select your country, and just ch type in your email address that you want your Camtasia Studio 3 product key to be sent to. And I, can, I highly recommend that you don't subscribe to the Camtasia Studio newsletter. And when you're done, just click send me a software, software key. And I bet you're all like, now, why Camtasia Studio 3? Why not get Camtasia Studio 5? Well, here's the here's the point. You can get the full version of Camtasia Studio 3 for free, and then when if you want to upgrade to Camtasia Studio 5, you can get a big discount off of upgrading to Camtasia Studio 5. But I might do that like in the near future, but I think this is pretty good. And it's way better than Camp Studio. Okay, so this is the main thing of Camtasia Studio. It looks very much like Windows Movie Maker, which is kind of cool. It has all the same flippy things here. You can make your own. You can, like, have a video be re being recorded at the same time when you're doing your screencasting transitions, just like Windows Movie Maker, callouts, zoom and pan, you can add a quiz, and captions, and it has options to when you want to, when you're finished with your video and how you want to produce it. And you can adjust all the audio and stuff, and you can choose whether you want to have the audio replaced with silence. And you can also choose a specific set section of your video for editing and you can also turn clips into video and this is the main screen of the Camtasia recorder and it's what you're seeing right now because it shows everything I do on screen and you can choose here under capture menu whether you want to record the whole screen a window a region or a fixed region and here you can also choose whether you want to record audio and record from a camera if you have one attached to the computer such as a webcam in the view menu you have options of a standard view which I'm using right now a compact view and a minimal view you can also add toolbars like annotation toolbar audio toolbar cursor toolbar, zoom and pan toolbar, and camera toolbar. And there's also a thing that's called the screen pad annotation tool, and I don't know what that is. 
and you can add special effects like you can add an annotation for your, your system stamp you can add caption, you can add watermarks and you can highlight and you can choose whether you want to highlight like a certain object on your desktop or you, if you want it to be done automatically and you can also draw on the screen while recording which is kinda cool and in here you can choose whether or not you want to record cursor sounds which is clicking the mouse and keyboard sounds which is you, you typing stuff on the keyboard and you can choose whether or not you want to have the cursor show you can highlight clicks you can highlight the cursor you can highlight the cursor and clicks and Camtasia Studio 3 has a similar option which is called auto pan which I think would is probably similar to auto pan in Cam Studio. There's also auto zoom. You can choose to zoom out, zoom in, and you can choose a custom zoom level like 50%, 75%, 100%, 125, 150, and you have options again a full screen, window, and region. And you can and since since I'm recording right now, I can't show you the thing to view or change effect settings. And it, and Camtasia Studio 3 also comes with other programs, obviously like Cam Studio, which I showed you before, Camtasia Menu Maker, Camtasia Audio Editor, Camtasia Theater, and Camtasia Player. So that is about it. I hope you enjoyed my video tutorial on how you can get Camtasia Studio 3 for free and my brief video review on it. Today's episode is brought to you by Camtasia Studio, the best screen recorder there is.